Some say one answer to food insecurity is to allow genetically engineered plants and animals that could be more easily farmed. The U.S. recently approved the first genetically modified animal, a hybrid salmon. The question is, will consumers be okay with it? Karina Huber has more. They're called Aqua Advantage salmon, a genetically engineered fish that is a combination of Atlantic and Pacific salmon and an eel-like fish called ocean pout. Aqua Bounty Technologies engineered it and says it can grow twice as fast as farm-raised salmon. In a statement, the company's CEO said, quote, it's a game changer that brings healthy and nutritious food to consumers in an environmentally responsible manner. After years of debate, the U.S. government seems to agree. Its Food and Drug Administration has declared the fish safe to eat and ready to market. There isn't any substantial risk to be concerned about, and we need to have alternative sources of, health, of, of healthy and fresh food other than wild fish caught from, from our oceans, and this presents a very attractive alternative. But critics worry the engineered salmon could cause an allergic reaction in humans and possibly taint the natural salmon population if they were to escape into the wild. I don't recommend consuming foods that are genetically modified. We don't have long-term studies about what that may do to our food supply and to our health. Environmentalists call the modified species frankenfish and want retailers to boycott it. Because we have been failed by our government agencies to adequately protect our environment and our health, we're calling on retailers uh, to step up as leaders in seafood sustainability and reject the GMO salmon. Several major U.S. supermarket chains, including Whole Foods, Costco, and Trader Joe's, have announced they won't sell the fish. But others like Walmart and Publix have not agreed to the boycott. Experts say consumers wary of the salmon should do their due diligence, but that's not easy to do. There is currently no requirement for stores to label it as genetically engineered. Aqua Bounty says it will take a few years before the salmon is large enough to market, but with all of the opposition, some are questioning whether it will ever hit the shelves. Karina Huber, CCTV, New York.